an offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. Why? Because you on Bernie. And I know the truth. Get surrounded or bombarded with negativity. You have a tendency to look at it, to focus on. Man, you've really got to replace those thoughts. We are intimately familiar with the competition that has been creating quite a stir among fans of humor. The man with the contagious laugh, Steve Harvey, at last responds to Cat Williams' shocking claims that she stole jokes from the Club Shia podcast. Prepare for an absorbing examination of the remarkable reactions, the mysterious quiet of others, and the surprising endorsement of comic greats Ed Lover and D.L. Hawley, who completely corroborate Cat's assertions. Prepare yourself for an exclusive peek at the surprisingly comical altercation. You hear nothing that will deceive you. Prior to delving into Steve Harvey's biting reply, let us examine the absurd charges leveled by Cat Williams against Club Chi Chi. Cat never shied away from controversy. He regularly released bombshells and accused comedian Cheech Check of infringement. He did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't... It goes beyond just taking a joke or two, in Cat's opinion. It's the perfect example of a humorous journey. When he tells Cat that Cedric took his lines and then lied about them not fitting together, Cat won't hear him. She claims that before Cedric stole the act for the Kings of Comedy in 2019, he saw it in person at the comedy shop. Then Steve Harvey, aka Mr. Potato Head, was the talk of the town. Harvey was assailed by Cat, who said that he had taken the sitcom screenplay written by Mark Curry and passed it off as the Steve Harvey program's principal. Should Cat believe Harvey was undercutting Bernie Mac's ability to be funny, he would not work on a project. The already heated antagonism is heightened by this shocking finding, which implies that the backstage dynamics of the original kings of comedy were significantly more combustible than their onstage friendliness would suggest. Cat believed that a long-standing rivalry was the source of Harvey's enmity towards Bernie Mac. It begs the following question even if the specifics are still unclear. Did Harvey truly believe that the humor of Bernie Mac would be a threat? We were all paying close attention as talk show presenter Steve Harvey talked openly about the startling charges made against him by Cat Williams. Fans couldn't help but notice that in a recent Instagram video, Steve was getting ready for the new year. He chose to respond to Cat's astonishing accusations diplomatically, being careful not to confront her directly. Harvey circled the charges with an unexpectedly nervous smirk, obviously uneasy as the questions came flying in. Without immediately addressing the major issue, he focused on resolving to be hopeful in the upcoming year. Despite being a tried and true tactic, words often tell us just as much about a celebrity argument as silence. When Steve encouraged people to ignore the effects of false information and concentrate on the good energy, he was taking a calculated risk. Harvey clearly and unmistakably connected with Cat Williams, indicating that he would not engage in a verbal altercation with members of the public. Nevertheless, in the absence of a compelling counter-argument, it's difficult not to question whether Kat's allegations that Harvey's comedic success is predicated on stolen material are true. Amidst the peculiar balancing act of refutation and denial, Steve Harvey's statement invites speculation. Has Kat hurt you in any way? Is there more to the tale than first glances reveal? One thing is certain as the year progresses. The comedy scene is becoming a lot more enigmatic. As if the hilarious battle between Steve Harvey and Cat Williams could get any more intense. Get ready for more. Janice McCullough, the daughter of Bernie Mac, has entered the ring, but she's not the only fighter in this continuing drama that's beginning to take on the tone of a Hollywood comedy of errors. In a recent podcast interview with Club Shay Shay, Cat Williams made some shocking charges about Steve Harvey and Janice McCullough felt compelled to address them. She didn't know Cat personally, but she thought the interview was fun and complimented Williams on being such a stand-up guy. I simply want people to remember that my dad passed away 15 years ago and that I haven't fully immersed myself in the comedy world, she stated. My dad was alive, but I never got the chance to meet Cat Williams. I don't know him. Never met him. By emphasizing how comedians' competitive nature frequently results in misunderstandings and arguments behind closed doors, McCullough's remarks heighten the excitement surrounding the current fight, a fact that Kat's testimony subtly confirms. Does Kat's criticism of the connections in the humor group have a deeper significance? The drama doesn't end there, though. Now let's welcome Ed Lover, a longtime radio DJ and close friend of Bernie Mac, 
who has joined Cat Williams in endorsing her allegations on Steve Harvey's purported hostility against Bernie Mac. Lover said on his podcast Seymour and Son that Bernie Mac had exposed a number of Harvey's deceptive practices, such as his effort to pilfer Mac's character from the movie Ocean's Eleven. The support of the lover fuels the rumors, raising the possibility that there is more to the situation than first appears. This information supports Cat Williams's claims and suggests that Harvey and Bernie Mac have a long-running rivalry that extends beyond their stage careers into the world of Hollywood film pictures. With every new discovery, the complex web of hilarious politics appears to be coming apart, strengthening the already gripping story. The tension is increased by Cedric the Entertainer, another important character from the first kings of comedy. Cedric spoke briefly about the alleged hostility between Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac that occurred during the recording of the well-known comedy tour on a recent episode of the Shy Shay podcast, which Shannon Sharpie presented at the club. Cedric conceded that Mac and Harvey were both dominant males, but he also indicated that rivalry and inflated egos would lead to confrontation. Cedric's remarks are consistent with the story of increasing internal conflict within the gang, despite the fact that he omits some important elements. D.L. Hewley has already commented about the conflicts that exist between Harvey and Mac. Helly stated in a Vlada video from three years prior that they had discussed the A Kings of Comedy coming back before the arguments about Harvey and McDarrell's objectives. The comedian's opening act, Damon Williams, remembered a painful incident in which Bernie Mac voiced unease about material that overlapped. The layers of this hilarious drama keep exposing that the original comic monarch's backstage dynamics were far more complex and combustible than their on-stage friendship was shown to be. A reunion tour appears to have been thwarted by the once-famous quartet's entanglements in a web of rivalry egos and claimed betrayals. Moreover, the story is gaining momentum now that numerous of Cat Williams's assertions have been verified by Bernie Mac's daughter and close friends. Are these celebrities genuinely in a competition to be the most prosperous and entertaining in the comedy business? That is the remaining question that needs to be answered. There may be a lot of drama and rivalry occurring behind the scenes that is hidden from view behind the laughter on stage, that much is certain. The comedy scene has gotten even more ambiguous as we continue to analyze the convoluted network of rumors and disclosures. We're all excitedly awaiting the next joke in this hilarious comedic clash of the century, as the plot develops. We've combed through fan comments to find out what people are thinking about this unexpected confrontation between Steve Harvey and Cat Williams as their hilarious storm continues. Be ready, as the supporters are not going to back down. Very few people in Hollywood on television ever tell the truth, boldly exclaimed a fan. But Cat, George Carlin and Dave are the few off the top of my head that spread truth. Supporters of Cat Williams seem to be rallying around him thanking him for what they see to be honesty in a field that is often attacked for lacking it, and endorsing Kat's judgment that the accused could not be replying. Another supporter added their voice, noting, he did state in the interview that none of these individuals would address the information. Kat doesn't dislike them. He was merely restating the facts. From this vantage point, Kat Williams is presented as actuality, telefacing a cool, heartless institution. The fan contends that Kat's reasons are more driven by her desire for honesty than by a personal grudge. We've heard your thoughts on this amusing adventure, dear viewers. Are you in Hollywood, Dave, Kat, and George, looking for the truth? Or do you believe that this conflict is just another celebrity drama? Drop your opinions below and let the comments section become the arena for your comedic verdict. Until the next punchline, stay tuned and let the laughter and commentary continue.